what is the best way to activate the parasympathetic nervous system. Now, if you Google this, you get all these different ways of activating the parasympathetic, calming down, right? Through nutrition, through walking more, through doing more sports, all those things, which is all, you know, in my opinion, kicking in an open door. Of course, if you eat more vegetables, you're healthier. If you're healthier, you're able to calm down more. Of course, if you do sports, you are able to calm down more. But what is the real secret to activating the parasympathetic nervous system? It is, of course, as you may have guessed, it's through the breath. Now, I will explain, it's very short, two ways of activating the parasympathetic nervous system through breathing, all right? Number one, belly breathing. You know, if we are stressed, we breathe in the chest. If you're really stressed and you start to hyperventilate, in, out, in, out, in, out, right? So if you learn to breathe to the belly, you will be calmer. You will also, because your vagus nerve is a nerve that activates your parasympathetic, it goes from your brainstem all the way to your gut. If you are used to breathing to the belly, there is more blood flow there and that vagus nerve is more easy uh, to be activated. I'm not sure if that was English, but that's okay. Uh, there's also 70% of our breath is in our belly or diaphragmatic breathing and not in the chest. So if you breathe naturally to the belly, you activate that vagus nerve, you activate your parasympathetic and you use more of your lungs. Other side effects are that you uh, activate your lymphatic system. All in all, you want to breathe to the belly. Now, a second way is to slow down your breathing. And this is just something you can learn. You know, we, we have the tendency to not watch our breath, but if you become a little bit conscious or do my breathing techniques, you know, you can find loads of videos on YouTube about breathing techniques. If you're able to slow down your breathing, then you naturally activate the parasympathetic nervous system. Simple, right? Now you will know, notice that, um, try one of my TT breathing techniques, you know, or TUMO videos. Check beforehand, really slow down your breathing. This is already calming you down. In one minute, time how often you breathe. Then do five minutes of, for example, TUMO breathing and check yourself afterwards. So you can, you can see for yourself that within five minutes time, in the beginning, you actively slow down your breathing up to the point where you become out of breath, maybe even. And afterwards, after five minutes, you can slow down your breathing twice as much. And that is just amazing. And this is why I'm such a fan of deep breathing breath hold techniques like Wim Hof method, like TT breathing, like TUMO breathing, because beforehand and afterwards, you will see, just please check it. One minute of slow breathing, five minutes of TUMO, TT, maybe one round of Wim Hof method, whatever. And then afterwards, check it again. To summarize, you want to activate your parasympathetic breathing? Learn to breathe right. Do that by one, by belly breathing and two, slowing down your breathing. Now, if you want to know everything about how to control your breath and with that you can control your life, in the info cards you will see a, um, a link to my website. I have this amazing online course and group coaching it's just amazing. I'm doing it already and the reactions are so good that, that I'm getting shy. You know what I mean? Uh, you will also find information in the description of this video. Okay, thanks a lot. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.